welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44. You can also catch me at my Facebook page, True Divine, and on Instagram and Twitter, it is The True Divine. I put out as much free content as I can, mainly via tarot, to help support, guide, and inspire those who want to be supported, guided, and inspired. Um, with daily energy readings. I work with energy, um, pick up on energy, interpret energy, and I work with tarot. So I mix the two of those together to bring an extra narrative to you to help give you some foresight, maybe some for, for arming, for warning, um, just for the day ahead. Um, some of it might not apply to you, so whatever doesn't resonate here, leave it behind. Um, a lot of people find the readings handy also, even if they don't resonate with them, to understand how someone else in their life is picking up on the certain energies that are around. Um, so it helps them deal with the different relationships that they have. So use it as you will, use it as it works for you best. So this is for the 15th of June 2020 and um, the first card is this Four of Pentacles. So this speaks of, it speaks of taking dominion over your world for the day. It speaks of um, standing up and, and being the creator and um, creator and emperor or empress of your world. Um, taking control, um, seeing, seeing where you want your world to go to seeing where you your world is right now and i'm talking about your individual world and the life you're creating from within you that reflects out on the outside of you um on the bottom of the deck again is this um tower card that keeps coming up everybody's having tower moments so that's sort of underpinning this that you know the foundations are getting shaken up but in your life there's certain foundations that are good certain foundations that you should go towards or um, keep a hold of or build upon. Um, so it, the, the tower is, you know, working for us to take away all that doesn't work, all that isn't real, all that is a lie um, and all that is illusion, ego, and leaving behind this foundation, this core for us to work from, to, to go forward with. Um, so taking dominion over your world. With this, you know, we have the opportunity to have the increase in wealth. We have the opportunity to have the increase in self-esteem. We have the opportunity to um, have an avenue where we can go down, where we can work hard in and we can achieve in because it's a firm foundation. It's something that's real. It's something that's true. Um, so even if you've just got a small slice of something today because this tower has taken everything else away that you've come to know and sort of had accepted as part of yourself um, there will be a slither there somewhere that is the core of you that is something that is real even if it's something that you have to go towards that isn't in your life right now but it's it's there it's a it's an avenue to go down it's a foundation to build upon um, and even if it is the smallest thing, hold on to it and build on it because it will, with this energy, it will be aided by the energies around you to, to, for it to grow quickly, exponentially, um, with you taking dominion over your own world. Um, don't get too lost in the materialistic though. Get that foundation in the material, get that um way of wanting to live or way of living um established but make sure you're balancing that with your spirituality um with physical health also to not get too too caught up and too miserly on 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 building 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 build both your spiritual self your inner self and this physical world that you're building how you want your reality to look on the second card, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So a major arcana, but it's in reverse. So for me, this speaks to more obscure changes, um, and but changes nevertheless, and big changes because we have this underpinning energy of this tower. So it speaks to looking, looking in more unconventional places for, um, for opportunities. 
We want to flow with the Wheel of Fortune. We don't want to try, try and swim upstream like salmon. Um, we want to try and flow in the direction it's going in. And sometimes things that are being thrown into the ring right now for many people, um, they feel at, at, the, at the time like um, an attack or like something that will not be good. But the, the energies are flipping everything on its lid right now. Everything on its lid from the top to the bottom. And so it, it's asking you to look at, at different ways, at ways of, um, of flowing, of being, of getting to where you want to get to um, without always knowing the answer or why something's happened in your life. Just giving it time to establish, giving it time to... Um, flourish before you try and swim away from it um, if that makes sense if you're looking on the wider stage um, just quickly we see that we have these different um, fractions of people factions sorry not fractions of the, trying to keep control trying to gain control playing chess um, with us and in, in that trying to take dominion over our world which is why it's so important that we in our individual lives are not living a lie are not living through ego and illusion but creating something real and solid um, so that that is fed into the collective consciousness so that is what is that's what becomes acceptable um, complacency and consent to things that we don't really know the impact of is not acceptable anymore this wheel of fortune is changing that it's bringing in a different energy it's bringing in different opportunities um, like I said which would may seem for a lot of people in the most obscure places lessons being learned in the most obscure ways having spiritual breakthroughs um, through lessons learned in the 3d very recently um, that at the time you wouldn't have thought would give you such a breakthrough but then all of a sudden there's just this clicking point that gives you that leveling up feeling that feeling of i know how to take dominion over my world again the third card being this ten of swords and i'm glad to see this because we can't deny that we've been going through a lot lately the ten of swords is a, is a hefty card it follows on from the nine which is the nightmare card you know the despair card now this card is where you've got no more room for any more swords in your back. So these are thoughts, these are attacking like thoughts, these are thoughts that would bring you down, that would hurt you, that would make you leak energy. Um, on another, some of the other decks I've got, it's somebody laying down and there's literally 10 swords in their back and they're bleeding out. There's just no more space for any more swords. And sometimes we either are in relationships or in business partnerships and taking in, into account the impact that the mainstream media has had, the governments have had. Um, they've put so many ridiculous swords in our back lately um, and that's been reflected in our personal lives also um, with people losing it really. Um, that for a lot of people there's just no more room for any more swords there's no more room for any more sigh up thoughts there's no more room for any more manipulation or control people are at the limit they're at the 10 they're at the final stage of no no this far no further so with you looking building your taking dominion over your own world building things even from the most obscure places and learning to take lessons and building spiritually and physically in the most obscure places um, places we didn't look to before we get to this stage ending this ten of swords ending um, so for a lot of people it's it's today it's a bit of a relief because yes this card can hurt because we're going to be reflecting on things um, but because it's the 10, we're starting to realise what these are. We're starting to realise what all of these different thought patterns are that have been, all of these different words that have been made into weapons, that have been weaponized and used to stab you in the back, to make you leak energetically, to make you worry, to make you fear. It's like, well, I've reached my limit now. What else can you throw? And that's a good place to be right now because of what is going on. Um, we need to get here. Um, it might be that a lot, of people, a lot of people who were protesting are realising what they got led into, what they got tr tricked into, what they opened up a stage for. 
um, today and so that might be a bit difficult and if I'm speaking to somebody who is feeling that way um, I could see the, what the protests were doing I could see that for a lot of people it was from a good place it was from a place in their hearts where they wanted to fight for an injustice but for a lot of people they're waking up to the fact that the fighting for an injustice that has been that has been made up. Sorry, the rabbits going crazy in the background. Um, that have been made up, that have been manufactured, that have been scripted. Um, and all I can say is, none of us uh, are are immune to these tricks. None of us are immune to these division tactics. Um, none of us are, and and none of us could say that we are honestly. Um, so if that is you and you come into the realization of it, then good for you because everybody does things out of um, at some point in their life or many points in their life out of emotional reactionary responses because that's what we've been trained to do and that's why this tower is a gift because that's what's been brought down in a lot of people's lives and the people that would seek to do that literally for a calling in life and um, to control and manipulate others and gain from others um, and manufacture illusion um, you know that it's coming down it, it's bringing it down to a real our core what we really are about what we would really be about if these people stepped away if mainstream media stepped away if um, these people who are quite obviously breaking laws quite obviously um, breaking laws against humanity um, and I mean spiritual laws as well and so if they were to just step away and be gone poof what would we be left with we'd be left with on the whole people who want to build good worlds people who want to seek and find lessons and and expand spiritually and physically people who want to put an end in and this is an end in here to all of the psyops that, that have been created for a lot of people, to all of the racial wars, to all of the inequalities that we've been told about, that we've been indoctrinated about. Um, so this is a real growth day. This is a real realization day. It's a wake up day. And be gentle on yourself, be careful on yourself, you know. Um, it, yes transmute it yes be honest with yourself so that you can look at your actions and see where these labels these controls these manipulations these words got into you and stabbed you um, without you realizing what they were doing yes do that but do it affectionately do it in a way of um in a work look at yourself like the child you know being led by a parent and, and then that way you can really make sure that that trigger point isn't within you anymore. It takes away these tricks, it takes away these control and manipulation tactics. And um, take that into account for your private life, for your individual life. Um, those around you that you maybe have not been able to face um, before the thoughts of the, that they might um, seek to just look after themselves or... or, or um, be with you out of ego or, or belittle you or anything like that the realization of that is strong today for a lot of people so be kind to yourself be gentle on yourself but most of all be honest with yourself um, truth and honesty today is very important um, very important for a lot of people so that is the reading for the 15th of June 2020. Um, if you'd like a private reading, you can get in touch with me with any of the details below. Um, if you would like to, please do follow, share, subscribe. It really helps me grow. Um, other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. I might be putting up another video later, um, just uh, writing on the wall video, uh, but I'll see how the boys go. I'll see how they're um, I'll see how they're picking up on the energy today before I promise anything. So much love, be balanced always, and behold. Mwah.